Um, he says that I have a confusion in regards to the prohibition of reciting the Quran while in ruku' or in sujood. This is true. This is a hadith. You are prohibited from reciting the Quran. The confusion lies in what is considered to be from the Quran, but it is also considered to be a supplication, a dua, which is taken from the Quran, such as Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al nar. Rabbi ghfir li wa rham, Rabbi tub alay, etc. Hab lana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yunin, waj'alna li muttaqina imama. So many. So now the confusion rises. Can I say these supplications which are coded from the Quran in my sujood? The answer is no problem. How is it not a problem when the Prophet prohibited us from reciting the Quran? It's very simple. You're not reciting the Quran. Here, you're reciting a supplication coded from the Quran. So you're not reciting the ayah before it and the ayah after it. You're just reciting this single ayah or a part of an ayah. And this is why scholars say that even if I were to be in the major uh, uh, ritual impurity, if I were Junub and I want to sleep before having my uh, uh, bath, my ghusl, can I say the athkar, which includes ayat al-kursi, qul huwa Allahu ahad qul a'udhu fala qudra bin nas, the answer is no problem, though we know that a Junub must not recite the Quran. Unlike a, per, a, a woman who's in her menses or a man who is not in the state of wudu, this is no problem for them to recite the Quran. The Junub, because his impurity is quite limited, maximum three, four hours, and then he's obliged to have ghusl in order to pray. So, though he's not permitted to recite the Quran, when it comes to adhkar of going to bed, he's Okay in that, insha'Allah.